What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here from LazyTechGuys.com and I've been getting a lot of questions regarding the virtual desktops in Windows 10. For those of you who haven't seen virtual desktops, essentially what it allows you to do is create multiple monitors in one computer. So in the essence of you wanting to open up maybe six or seven windows and not having to alt tab between the windows or having them overlay on top of each other, you could effectively have um, one desktop be specific to, I don't know, work, and then a secondary desktop where it's only something like Netflix, for example, and then maybe just for the heck of it, another desktop that you add that is specific only to Facebook. Now with that out of the way, one main question is, how does it work with media? So for example, if I'm playing music on one desktop and I go to a secondary or third desktop, will I still hear the music? What happens if I'm uploading or downloading a video or any kind of file whatsoever? Or in fact, what happens when I'm watching a video and I switch to a different desktop? Will the video continue to play or will it pause? So these are this is where all those um, questions will hopefully be answered for you guys. So let's go back to desktop one. I'm going to play a track from Linkin Park here. Hopefully it doesn't get pulled down on YouTube, fingers crossed. And so while that's playing, we'll simultaneously go into my OneDrive and we will just select a bunch of tracks, or maybe not too many. Yeah, two's enough. Now, again, I'm playing this off of OneDrive, so that's going through the cloud. I'm going to click download here. And while it's playing and downloading, I'm going to switch over to my second desktop and start watching November Man. Now, as you can see, or rather hear, the music is still playing. I'm watching the video. And the audio in the video is playing right now. And if I switch back to the primary desktop, the download has finished downloading. And the music is still playing, but let's go back to Netflix. Netflix pauses it or exits out of the video itself. So if I go to YouTube, and I'm playing a video, I can switch over, and the video will continue to play. Switch back, it's still playing. Now, if you're playing two video feeds, this is what happens. So that plays. At the current build, they are going to overlay each other. But Netflix is smart enough, especially this particular application. If you leave this desktop, it, it kind of minimizes it in essence, and it will pause Netflix. But it won't pause YouTube when you leave it. So. Just be aware of that while you're kind of messing around with the media. So again, when you are downloading a large file and you switch desktops, it'll continue to download in the background. This also means when you upload something, it'll continue to upload. If you're rendering something, editing a video, and you're uh, uh, compressing something, it'll continue to compress while you're on your second or third desktop. Um, conversely though, Specifically with Netflix, I guess in this case, if you're watching Netflix and you leave Netflix from away from this desktop, Netflix would be smart enough for you and it will pause whatever it is that you're watching. Now, sometimes you actually might not want it to pause, but that's really your, um, your concern. So I think that's actually a better idea. I would like it personally if YouTube would pause it. Because sometimes, you know, if it's a video on YouTube, I want to capture everything and I leave and I go back, I'll have to rewind the video. I don't necessarily know if that is something Microsoft is working on, but for the time being, with Build 10162, that's how it works. So if you have any other questions, concerns, or anything, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope this was informative for you guys, and we will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.